so uh good evening all of you this is a uh, day 2 of gate aerospace 2025 batch and subject is aircraft propulsion which is going on now and i am taking a portion that unit is thermodynamics now in thermodynamics uh in last class we have discussed about uh, very very small uh, quantity uh, like we have discussed boundaries we have discussed very very small quantity now from today onwards uh, more and more topics we will discuss and uh, immediately after 40 minutes when this meeting will gets over i have given you three questions on drive for day 2 so you have to go to the drive and uh, we have 10 minutes of break in that break of 10 minutes you have to solve those three problems and i hope last class uh, in last class also uh, after 40 minutes i gave some question uh three questions were there you may have solved that three question so today day 2 and uh, every day i'll be giving you three three questions for that 10 minutes other than whatever we discuss in class and assignment and test series and those things those uh, those questions are just for uh to use that 10 minutes of gap so and one more advice whenever uh, you are uh, making notes either from the live class or from the video course you just mention there like day 2 okay because many students they want to visit some topic again for that particular video but they don't write on their notebook that this particular topic is taken in day 2 okay it will help you so write down day 1 day 2 day 3 before uh, your class or day or whatever is comfortable for you and uh, you also mention that uh, like after having the lecture that what is the name of this topic this topic this topic this topic we have done in day 2 so these things it's, it's kind of index these things will help you to uh, revisit videos or lectures for your revision purpose so let's start class tonight so i am starting with the topic extensive and intensive properties like in last class i said these properties are not depending on uh like don't be confused with the topic what i have taken in last class like point function and path function so extensive and intensive properties so very simple trick you see intensive so i n stand like if you write the complete spelling intensive and i n is for independent also right so properties which are independent of mass independent of mass those properties we say as independent properties i mean uh intensive properties okay but if your property depends on mass then it becomes extensive property so what do you mean by extensive property depends on mass so depends on mass so no need to remember these two only remember that independent of mass means intensive property it sounds very similar independent i n intensive i n so it will go in your memory very easily you can recall this concept okay for example uh almost every year i give same example to explain intensive and extensive property for example let's discuss temperature suppose you have no idea temperature is intensive property or extensive property but with this example you can judge so i am asking you to judge it is intensive property or extensive property so if it is intensive yes in a doubt Uh, please change your device name to your name so uh, currently you have joined using the name acer it seems that acer is laptop name so change your uh, okay so i was saying temperature is intensive or extensive property how to judge simple way is means what you have to find out temperature depends on mass or not so temperature is different and heat is different i am talking about temperature is intensive property or not how to judge suppose you have a cold drink bottle okay this cold drink bottle is of 2 liter so suppose you have taken just now from the fridge and right now temperature is 10 degree celsius for this bottle i mean uh, the liquid inside at 10 degree celsius now you take a small small glasses and pour the liquid or uh, this soft drink in this okay when you will put liquid inside uh, so what do you think temperature here will change no right but this 2 liter you may be knowing that 
in case of water almost li uh, liter and kg they are almost same not exactly same so now you put in this so suppose this total is 2 liter now you are splitting into three parts small small amounts suppose 100 ml 100 ml 100 ml so this 100 ml will also be having same temperature right it means what right now mass is less but temperature is still same so here we are understanding one thing temperature is not depending on mass temperature is independent of mass temperature is independent of mass means clear this is intensive property but in case of heat heat is not intensive property heat depends on mass i will tell you how will you judge if i ask heat how will you judge i am changing the page see uh, suppose you have a pan in this pan you have 1000 liter water okay and i have another pan in this pan you have just 50 ml very small amount of water okay now currently both have same temperature of 30 degree celsius okay now i want to raise this temperature as at 35 and this temperature also at 35 degree celsius in that case in this system i have to supply more heat and in this system i have to supply less heat so it is very clear that amount of heat supplied to the system to increase the temperature is less if your mass is less so here q is depending on mass it is not independent of mass okay so in this way you can check we can also discuss about uh, all the properties separately like we can discuss i am changing the page we can discuss uh, work done we can discuss pressure we can discuss temperature we can discuss density we can discuss energy like form of energy so but i hope you got the idea how will you justify this for example i can ask i can ask density density what do you think density is intensive property or density is extensive property don't google it because you guys are in online class just use your brain and tick in this zone i hope you know how to tick on zoom in zoom classes you will be having on pen facility tick on my screen if you think intensive is correct tick here if you think extensive is correct click this side okay so you guys some students are saying it is oh some people are saying it is depending on mass some people is some people are saying it is not depending on mass can't believe oh, oh. <laughs> good one superman how many students today uh, okay uh, okay i don't see himanshu today banani where is himanshu today he came okay but where is he i don't see oh i'm sorry priyanshu again i am doing mistake i'm very sorry Priyanshu is here, but but twenty students should come today. Okay, some new admissions are here. Anyway, uh, guys, what is this? Some people are saying it is independent. Some people are saying it is depending on mass. See, think like this. See, suppose you have any matter. M A W T E R. Suppose this matter is gold. So gold. Suppose this is five kg gold. Now this five kg gold will be having certain density, right? Now if you will split this gold into one kg, one kg, one kg, one kg, five parts, do you think density of the gold will change? No, right? It means what? Density is not depending on mass. So density is going to be intensive or extensive, independent. Not depending means independent of mass. So, intensive. Is it okay? Are you guys comfortable with the explanation? Right? Independent of mass. It is not depending on mass. Fine. Good. Now, let's discuss. Yeah, I think, I think you... Now, see, I can ask you one thing. Now, uh, let's discuss one very good. 
yeah for temperature I explained right for temperature also same if you have a, a one liter uh, cold drink and you split this one liter cold drink into different different glasses same temperature will reach into all glasses right cold drink is cold at suppose 10 degrees celsius so when you will pour in different glasses in all the glasses same temperature 10 degree 10 degree 10 degree will reach right so again mass became less but temperature is same so it is also independent right so i said don't be confused with the heat i hope you, you understand this now i can ask you uh, one more question uh, suppose i have to ask about hydrostatic pressure yes ask your question ask your question you can unmute yourself and ask okay sir so there's a basic formula of density like mass per unit volume right so if we increase mass sir then density changes and if we decrease mass then also density changes sir by this formula then it is de dependent on mass na sir <laughs> good then one. why we are taking it as independent very good very good very good see uh, did you understand my gold example yes sir, i understood okay good see here so according to gold example you are comfortable but mathematically you are being uncomfortable i'll tell you why because see uh, you may have heard in your 9th cl uh, 10th class there was a law ohms law and uh, ohms law see v is equal to i r or uh, i is equal to v by r any one is correct both are not correct okay mathematically they both are same but only one thing is correct for ohms law both are not correct for ohms law so try to understand see suppose i am writing something suppose any property is there weight is equal to m into g weight is equal to m into g now i am sending mass down so weight by m is equal to g so now if you will change the amount of mass this gravity will change no right it means formula like mathematical part is different but only see that's why when we say for example you may have heard in your uh, 12th class uh, coulomb force f is proportional to multiplication of charge q1 q2 you remember and coulomb force f is also inversely proportional to 1 by r square so this is very great statement like which property is proportional to which property i mean to say if f is proportional to q1 into q2 and f is proportional to 1 by r square if you change force what is the what is the cause of force is being changed it does not mean that q1 q2 will change right it can depend on this also for example i gave you example w is equal to m into g so if you change g then weight will change but send mass this side w by m is equal to g change mass gravity will not change so if something is present in the formula it does not mean that everything is uh, everything can affect another one no no right everything cannot affect so that's why we should know the law formula is different for example when I, uh, when you will go to uh, when i'll be teaching you flight mechanics and aerodynamics one uh, formula will come lift is equal to half rho v square s c l okay in this formula uh, some of you may be aware of this formula because of your college studies and some of you still may may have not reached to this formula yet so see to change the lift if you want to change the lift if you change the density of air lift will change velocity of air lift will change planform area lift will change cl value lift will change but i cannot say that planform area is 2 times l divided by rho v square into cl now now to try to understand if i am changing the lift do you think planform area will change no right planform area is in the formula pradnaya are you able to understand the logic now yes sir, i am understanding very good so now i am going to explain so okay i am understanding that every one of you are comfortable with extensive and intensive property concepts if you have any doubt ask me right now if no doubt then i will go to the next topic so my next topic i am going to discuss very important types of pressure types of pressure now see here 
if students will not understand this concept here you will not understand when at the inlet of diffuser at the inlet of the engine of the aircraft this pressure you have to take static pressure or dynamic pressure or total pressure these things will trouble you a lot that's why i consider this as a separate topic in my batch types of pressures okay so roughly you may have heard there are several types of pressures you may have heard uh, static pressure you may have heard dynamic pressure total pressure stagnation pressure other than that you may have heard hydrostatic pressure and uh, vacuum pressure gauge pressure positive pressure negative pressure okay atmospheric pressure so all these pressures you should know in detail okay so now i am going to explain one by one so i will start with static pressure i am changing the page so suppose uh, how to understand static pressure so guys see same example suppose you have a cup here and in this cup you have coffee and this coffee at macroscopic level m a c r o at macroscopic level this coffee and cup everything is in rest on the table okay now when you will make a hole coffee will come out when you are making the hole coffee is coming out imagine the situation imagine the situation that why molecules are coming out because there was molecule so situation it means what situation is something else what we are seeing that is not situation then what is the situation situation is it, it is a fluid right so all the molecules are hitting on the wall okay all the molecules are hitting on the wall so imagine very small molecule is hitting at a very small portion of the wall and this area is da and applied pressure by the molecule is dp try to understand now you have lot of molecules here if you integrate the pressure then you will be getting certain pressure and that pressure you will say as static pressure okay and how will you judge there is static pressure or not so understand always wherever there is molecule either that is stationary molecule or moving molecule okay i mean sorry i mean uh, static fluid or moving fluid moving fluid means in pipe there is a flow so in this flow also molecules are not only moving in forward direction no molecules will also be having tendency to hit the wall when molecules will hit the wall then how will you judge how will you check they are hitting the wall just make a hole here then fluid will come out that is the proof that molecules are going to hit the wall so it means what bombardment of the molecules on the wall if you will integrate you will be getting static pressure at that point it means what in this cup i can ask you that at this cross section what is the static pressure it means at which cross section at this cross section what is the static pressure i can ask at this cross section what is the static pressure okay and i can ask in overall cup what is the static pressure okay in this pipe i can ask at this cross section what is the static pressure because in pipe you have cross section so on the wall molecules will hit right i hope you understood the concept of static pressure now static pressure formula we don't study in gate aerospace okay but static pressure formula you can uh, find out in uh, other books of thermodynamics even though like for example pk nag and other books static pressure formula is, is there and that formula is also there in my uh, study material on drive google drive but uh, don't uh, you can note down but no need to remember the uh, formula for the static pressure okay now i am going to discuss dynamic pressure very very important for gate aerospace department so see in case of this cup and coffee is there table is there everything is in rest so right now coffee is not moving it is stationary in the cup so dynamic pressure is actually related to the motion of the fluid so for example in diffuser there is a flow so there is dynamic pressure in pipe there is a flow there is dynamic pressure when you open the tap then water comes out there is a dynamic pressure uh, when you sit in front of fan okay the air hit what you experience that is because of dynamic pressure okay so what is dynamic pressure dynamic pressure formula you understand half rho v square so rho is density of the fluid in case of fan air is coming out so density of air in case of pipe flow water or any other liquid is flowing so density of that uh, liquid or that fluid 
and v v is the velocity how fast the flow is there how fast fluid is moving that much big dynamic pressure you will experience so i hope you understood the concept of dynamic pressure so now uh, let's understand the concept of uh, total pressure or sorry i now i'll explain stagnation pressure no before that i'll explain hydrostatic pressure what is hydrostatic pressure very simple pressure see here uh why this hydrostatic pressure concept is important for us see there are two very different branches in engineering one branch is our branch that is aero branch you can add aeronautical or you can add aerospace okay and another branch is just opposite of our branch that is nautical 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 means uh, for water uh, for uh, water ships okay for ships for boats for submarines so one is nautical engineering or you can say marine engineering nautical engineering or marine engineering so see suppose this is the earth surface so above the earth you have a different liquid and uh, ocean and all or river and all they are different liquid they are different fluid so aero people they study uh, aircrafts which is flying or you can say which is completely submerged in the air and uh, these people they study submarines which is completely submerged in water okay now try to understand you may have heard the news recently i think few months before there was a, a one implosion happened uh, one very rich person went inside the ocean uh, in some submarine there was implosion right guys are you aware of this fact yes uh, i i forgot the name of the person uh, yeah something was there uh, i have um, currently i have forgot that so anyway so see here understand here so okay okay so see here suppose this is the surface earth surface so what is happening here when you are going below the earth surface then amount of water is increasing correct so suppose below you are going to so you are going depth d1 go more depth d2 go more depth d3 so what is happening because of so hydrostatic pressure is increasing i will explain what is that hydrostatic pressure is the pressure which is acting on the object because of weight above the object i mean how much uh, what how much liquid is present that liquid weight of that liquid is Uh, applying pressure over you for example suppose you are sleeping here okay and uh, i am uh, putting one uh, big cylinder over you so what is the weight of that cylinder suppose weight of the cylinder is 10 newton and how much cross section area it is covering how much cross section area it is covering so suppose that area is 2 meter square so you know that pressure is equal to force okay one thing you guys tell me you guys tell me pressure is equal to force by area or force is equal to pressure by area which one is correct tick on my screen okay good at least here you are not doing mistake newton per meter square is the unit for the pressure and this unit we say pascal i will also explain the units now see guys one more thing google everything wherever you are lagging i mean to say unit wise if you are not perfect you right now after the lecture you know that you are not comfortable with the units so go to the drive i have kept all the books there all the everything understand limits i mean units you should be very comfortable with all different units fine so pressure you can find out by weight is nothing but a kind of force and you can say unit is newton so pressure is equal to 10 by area is 2 so 5 okay so similar way is there to understand hydrostatic pressure so when you go above the earth then hydrostatic pressure is decreasing why because when you are exactly at the surface then maximum amount of atmosphere is above you but when you are going up 
then amount of atmosphere is decreasing above you so i'm changing the page suppose this is the earth and you are here so at this point if i am asking hydrostatic pressure then you will say sir whatever atmosphere is present above that line only that much atmosphere will uh, have weight on you right so that much will give you hydrostatic pressure so hydrostatic pressure formula sorry pressure formula is rho g h now you understand which h i will take i cannot take this h no because this atmosphere is below you so i will take this h how much atmosphere is present above you but in case of ocean when you go down that time suppose you are here that time how much ocean is below you that doesn't matter because that is not applying pressure on you how much ocean is between earth surface and you that height you will substitute in the formula okay you can say height you can say depth but concept wise you be very very careful i hope you understood this so i will just tell you one very easy way how p is equal to rho gh comes into picture suppose this is your earth surface and imagine this much atmosphere is present above you like now i am considering that only this much atmosphere because suppose suppose your body size is this much so your body size this much i mean to say here also you have atmosphere here also you have atmosphere but that atmosphere is of no use for my mathematical proving because only this much atmosphere is acting above my body surface okay so because su suppose i am saying that this area is a okay and this height is h okay now see if you want to calculate weight or the force how do you know weight m into g m into g now how will you know m m is nothing but density into volume correct density is rho and volume is volume of this guy so what is volume area into height is volume into the g remaining correct so we got the weight now you know that to calculate hydrostatic pressure whatever weight is there that divide by area okay so this weight you divide by area this divided by area area got cancelled so you got p is equal to rho g h i hope you understood how the formula is coming as rho g h correct so everything you note down topic by topic topic by topic now let's understand so i have explained about the uh, atmospheric pressure just sorry hydrostatic pressure now let's understand what is the meaning of atmospheric pressure so see static pressure over dynamic over hydrostatic over now i am explaining what do you mean by atmospheric pressure so guys right now every everyone me you whoever is in the class whoever is not in the class this is earth surface so exactly on the earth surface how much pressure is experienced because of the atmosphere present above us that pressure we say as 1 atm pressure that we say as 1 atm pressure that is our atmospheric pressure okay because we stay on earth we live on earth that's why this pressure we say one okay now one concept you can understand easily if i go up then will you experience greater than one atmospheric pressure or less than one atmospheric pressure tick on my screen very good so i hope you understand that because less atmosphere is present so less atmospheric pressure you will experience now you know that jupiter is more denser planet than us so just now if i say that uh, i am going to discuss same thing for jupiter as compared to earth then add the jupiter because more denser gases are present so add the jupiter exactly for the earth data if i compare then i'll be having more atmospheric pressure right maybe i don't know the pressure right now some m some n times of one atmospheric pressure will be there at the jupiter surface i hope you understand that but uh, this n is going to be very huge number more than one of course very very huge number so this one atmospheric pressure so now see now question comes uh, 
सर आई हैव हर्ड अबाउट पास्कल प्रेशर व्हाट इज दिस वन एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर सो गाइस सी वन एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज फॉर दिस रेफरेंस ऑफ एटमोस्फियर एंड अर्थ रेफरेंस बट यू शुड नो दैट इन वन एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर हाउ मच पास्कल इज कमिंग हाउ मच पास्कल इज कमिंग सो फॉर दैट व्हाट यू शुड नो दिस इज अर्थ सर्फेस अब द अर्थ सर्फेस टिल हाउ मच हाइट एटमोस्फियर इज कंसिडर्ड टू बी प्रेजेंट देन इन दैट हाइट वेन यू अप्लाई पी इज इक्वल टू रो जी एच then suppose someone will tell you height value then suppose someone will tell you g value now again problem is there if you go to height g is not going to be same correct so even g will change so now someone will talk about gravity uh, density so we know that uh, air density is again changing when you go height wise when you go up so it means what uh, these people are not constant it means what it is not easy to calculate using this formula okay but it's fine anyway we can go for average values okay so i am not saying to calculate right now just you remember uh, some uh, you will say that one atm pressure is actually equal to 101325 pascal and you will say uh, this pascal you can write in kilopascal how three decimal this side 101.325 kilopascal okay now some students are having problem pascal and kilopascal how i am writing decimal this side guys always remember suppose you have millimeter okay and suppose you have kilometer and both suppose i am writing uh, some data suppose i have 30 millimeter and i have 30 kilometer no uh, make it some other data suppose 27 kilometer okay now this millimeter you want to convert into uh, meter so this milli this milli actually this milli you write like this mi double l i right milli millimeter so this milli you can write as 10 to power minus 3 then 30 you write as it is into 10 to power minus 3 into this meter is remaining here correct in same way uh, 27 you write as it is and this k is nothing but kilo kilo you can write 10 to power 3 and this meter as it is so you learn for milli which number you should use for kilo which number you should use so these basics you should not be weak okay go to night itself after class and unit part you make properly and write write down on your uh, master notebook right so you write down some more values about this i am changing the page so uh, 1 atm i am writing as 101325 pascal or if you will place decimal here then it will become kilo pascal and you remember 1 bar is actually equal to 10 to power 5 pascal okay 1 bar is equal to 10 to power 5 pascal and uh, this 1 atm pressure if you are writing as 101325 pascal right then uh, if you want to convert this into bar then you do one thing 10 to power 5 you multiply and 10 to power 5 you divide okay and you know that 10 to power 5 pascal is 1 bar so replace this as 1 bar it means what 101325 as it is and this divide by 10 to power 5 as it is and into 1 bar as it is it means what this data is your bar it means what 1 atm you got how much 1 2 3 4 5 1.0 1 3 2 5 1 3 2 5 bar i hope it's clear right and this 1 atm is also uh, 760 mm of mercury this also you should remember and if you will replace this mercury with h2o then this guy will go 10.33 meter of h2o 10.33 10.33 meter of h2o okay now question comes mercury is a costly thing and uh, of course we have to uh, extract mercury uh, from different methods uh, to use for uh, industrial applications and academics and all for whatever purpose so we have to extract we have to gain the mercury but water is freely available so why don't we use water in our barometer or uh, in applications because to achieve one atmospheric pressure you need only 760 height for the mercury 760 mm height for the mercury 
so your uh, meter your uh, instrument will be small in size but to achieve same one atmospheric pressure your h2o if you are using h2o then your column length will go 10.33 uh, meter do you understand meter uh, meter is very big uh, i think two or three storage building used to be of uh, uh, 10 meter i guess something okay so now let's understand what is the meaning of absolute pressure gauge pressure and vacuum pressure i am changing the page so uh, now this is the second half of uh, day 2 class i was explaining i was explaining about to explain absolute pressure and then uh, gauge pressure and then vacuum pressure let's understand this in detail see what do you mean by absolute pressure because the name itself is giving you idea absolute it means this pressure is only because of the molecules present if molecules will increase then absolute pressure will increase if molecules will decrease then absolute pressure will decrease okay that is one thing for example suppose i have a box in this box 100 molecules are already present how much 100 molecules are already present and being on earth just an example being on earth i am considering whenever i'll be having 100 molecules of air i will say in the chamber one atm pressure is there try to understand what i'm saying just example a closed chamber whenever i see somewhere anywhere in the world 100 molecules of air present in any closed chamber then i will say one atm pressure is present so what is your absolute pressure absolute pressure is one atm right now because it is because of 100 molecules now if i will ask what is my gauge pressure right now gauge pressure is zero if i'll ask what is my vacuum pressure right now vacuum pressure is zero why because i have considered that one atm pressure because of 100 molecules is my reference line okay now in this if i will add some extra molecules suppose i am adding 80 molecules extra then because of 80 molecules how much atm pressure will increase 0.8 atm pressure will increase so this extra pressure what is increasing this extra pressure i will say as gauge pressure this extra pressure i will say as gauge pressure right now vacuum pressure is zero so gauge pressure is extra 0.8 means above 1 atm whatever pressure is extra that is your gauge pressure i hope you understand in your laboratory devices what you are using to measure pressures everything is measured above 1 atm because 1 atm is already present i am experiencing 1 atm you are experiencing 1 atm even the device is experiencing 1 atm in your lab okay so whatever pressure is extra that is measured by the device so that is extra gauge pressure but i can ask okay tell me when 80 molecules got added in the chamber that time what was your absolute pressure so you will say 1 plus 0.8 because total pressure is because of total molecules all molecules because that is the common sense behind absolute pressure okay now imagine a situation another situation so you can see here atmospheric pressure if i add with gauge pressure i get absolute pressure so mathematically it is a very easy to understand but this was the physical feel behind absolute and gauge now part 2 in part 2 imagine the same container in this container already 100 molecules are present so right now you have how much absolute pressure 1 atm absolute pressure why because in my consideration when 100 molecules of air is present i will say that is 1 atm pressure now i can ask right now what is gauge pressure in this case second case you will say zero why because i have not added extra molecules now what is the vacuum pressure 
you will say zero why because i have not removed any uh, uh, any molecules so from it means what actually gauge pressure and vacuum pressure are studied for which situation when there is extra molecule than atmospheric level or when there is less molecule than atmospheric level okay so let's understand vacuum pressure now so i cannot explain vacuum pressure in my previous example because in previous example i am adding extra molecules so to study vacuum pressure to explain you i have to remove some molecules so imagine a situation i am removing uh fifth not 50 because 50 will divide equal equal uh let's 60 60 molecules i am removing okay if 60 molecules i am removing then 40 molecules are present correct oh actually my camera is uh, recording some blur just now i noticed fine okay so this uh six so guys for this i think for half an hour when you will be watching the video uh, some blur camera will come but uh, everything will be visible and even though my sound is there so it will help you uh, just now it's it's now fine so what i'm saying uh, remaining molecule is 40 molecule so right now how much absolute pressure is present in the system so because of 40 molecule 0 0.4 atm pressure is present so this 0 0.4 atm pressure is right now present there so that is your absolute pressure which is present there and how much pressure is missing 0.6 atmosphere pressure is missing correct because these 60 molecules were applying 0.6 atm pressure those molecules are not there so this 0.6 atm pressure is not there so how much is your vacuum created vacuum is created because of these 60 molecules so what is your vacuum pressure 0.6 atm pressure is your vacuum pressure that's why because molecules are taken out so that pressure is not there that's why the same pressure we say negative pressure means uh, 1 atm pressure is your standard pressure i mean the reference pressure you went below how much 0.6 0.4 is already still present but 0.6 pressure is not there so how much pressure is not there how much pressure is not there that is only your vacuum pressure it means what whatever is present that is not vacuum 0.4 is present that is not vacuum that is your absolute pressure okay so here we understood one thing uh, i am changing the c so imagine that this is my datum line this datum line means in this chamber i have zero molecules so zero pressure so zero pressure means completely datum line i don't have uh, any molecule present so i will not discuss that about the pressure because pressure concept will come if you have something to hit the wall molecule should be there to hit the wall okay now i am saying 100 molecules i am keeping inside the chamber so according to 100 molecule whatever pressure will come that pressure i will say as 1 atm pressure so this 1 atm pressure i am saying is uh, as compared to zero pressure i have certain 1 atm pressure that is because of 100 molecule right now change the example if you will add suppose i am adding 80 molecules so because of 80 molecules this 1 atm line will shift little bit up how much because of 80 molecules 0.8 atm pressure will be added so if you are measuring this from zero so total became 1.8 atm pressure so this is your absolute pressure because you are measuring this from the ground ground means datum line but if you will measure only from here only from 1 atm then 0 0.8 atm gauge pressure gauge pressure extra only the extra part if you will measure okay now next suppose forget this 80 now only focus on 100 now from the 100 you are removing suppose 60 molecules then how much is remaining 40 is remaining so 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 because of 40 molecules 0.4 pressure is actually present 0.4 atmospheric pressure is actually present how much is not present that you will measure from this you come down 
बिकॉज ऑफ सिक्सटी मॉलिक्यूल पॉइंट सिक्स ए टी एम यू आर मिसिंग सो यू आर कमिंग डाउन सो हाउ मच नेगेटिव प्रेशर इज प्रेजेंट इन द चैम्बर यू विल से पॉइंट सिक्स ए टी एम नेगेटिव प्रेशर इज प्रेजेंट इन द चैम्बर और पॉइंट फोर ए टी एम पॉजिटिव प्रेशर इज प्रेजेंट इन द चैम्बर और वैक्यूम प्रेशर ऑफ पॉइंट सिक्स ए टी एम इज प्रेजेंट इन द चैम्बर आई होप इट्स क्लियर और पॉइंट फोर एटीएम एब्सल्यूट प्रेशर इज प्रेजेंट इन द चैम्बर आई होप एवरीथिंग इज क्लियर राइट ओके सो फ्रॉम हियर वी गेट वन मोर फॉर्मूला वॉट इज दैट फॉर्मूला इन वन एटीएम प्रेशर इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट दिस हाउ मच इज प्रेजेंट हाउ मच इज प्रेजेंट देन यूल बी गेटिंग वैक्यूम प्रेशर आई होप इट्स क्लियर ओके हाउ मच इज प्रेजेंट इफ यू सब्ट्रैक्ट so how will you measure this in one atm pressure how much so i hope you are understanding everything so this time if you bother about absolute pressure in one atm how much is missing if you will subtract then also you will be getting absolute so 0.6 is missing so 0.4 will come you as your answer i hope you understand how to arrange the formula okay so never bother about formula always focus on concept because in gate exam Rare, rare chance like directly data put and get the answer type question will come no you have to think because these type type of concepts they may merge in msq type question okay so your concept should be very clear now i am changing the page taking new whiteboard so uh if you want to calculate the exact pressure you know what to do if you add extra pressure in the 1 atm pressure then absolute pressure will come okay or in 1 atm pressure if you subtract what is not present then also absolute pressure will come but i am saying formula is one thing but your concept will work should work so now i will discuss about like i said uh, one formula is there that formula you take down uh, p is equal to 1 by 3 rho C R M S square. What is this? I will tell you. See here. This rho is the density of fluid, and this C square. So what is C R M S? C R M S. So actually, C R M S is nothing but under root C one square plus C two square plus dot 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 C n square divided by n. What is this? N is number of molecules, and every molecule is having different different velocity. now i have a closed chamber in this chamber i have n molecules these molecules are having different velocities so i am finding out a kind of rms velocity so like kind of average velocity rms is not average average is different rms is different but rms is also you can sense because we are not going into deep concepts of thermodynamics that is not of no use like i said static pressure you can cal calculate by the formula so this is the formula but we don't discuss this for gate aerospace engineering so in chamber if you want to calculate static pressure crms but this is not our gate aerospace class i mean this is this topic is not present there so just mention that okay p is equal to 1 by 3 rho crms square okay remember if you do half rho v square then you get dynamic pressure so just put here 3 and this v becomes crms then it becomes static pressure okay now i will discuss temperature so what do you mean by temperature but but one more thing till now i did not discuss total pressure and stagnation pressure how much we have discussed yeah c is velocity c is velocity rms velocity like c1 c2 everything is velocity so whatever data i am getting from c1 c2 they all are uh, uh, well another velocity c now see we have to understand two more pressures one is stagnation pressure and one is total pressure let's understand in detail what is stagnation pressure and what is total pressure okay now in some cases stagnation pressure and total pressure they are same but in some cases they are not same so for our gate aerospace engineering program stagnation pressure and total pressure you will consider as same but in reality there are some senses in which they are different so let's understand the concept of stagnation pressure first suppose uh you have any pipe okay this pipe is at 
certain height from the datum point in our case of earth earth surface is uh, your datum point earth surface okay or you can say mean sea level is your datum point now in this pipe some flow is happening okay because of the flow you you because flow is having velocity flow is having density so because of flow you will be having dynamic pressure that is half rho v square okay next some properties like enthalpy will also be there i have not explained enthalpy yet enthalpy topic is about to come in upcoming lectures so suppose certain enthalpy is also there suppose uh because this pipe is at certain height from the ground so some energies will also be there like for example gravitational potential energy i have not taken energy topic yet about to come in upcoming classes but it is important to discuss here so some mgh potential energy which one gravitational potential energy is also there okay some kinetic energy is also there some uh, enthalpy is also there like different different energies are there i mean to say when when the flow is entering i am erasing this erasing this when flow is entering entering at the inlet it is having several types of energy correct energy 1 energy 2 energy 3 energy 4 energy 5 and just now i have given you words what kind of energies are possible some other may be possible now i want to convert all these energies into one pressure energy into one pressure energy only one energy so this explain uh, this concept i used to explain like this imagine there is a person okay now this person has different type of wealth this person has car car this person has home h o m e this person has uh, balance account balance lot of money this person has gold this person has land this person has a uh, two eyes two kidneys even these items are uh, you know if you will sell these items you will get money now this person is deciding that this person wants to sell everything everything and the person wants to convert everything into gold everything into gold it is possible right so you do one thing consider gold as pressure and remaining things you consider as different types of energy so in that case whatever pressure you are getting finally that is known as stagnation pressure i hope you understood this okay now in aerospace department this complex concept we have to reduced at certain level so i am going to filter apply some filter here so i am applying filter now changing the page what kind of filter i am applying you have earth surface you have a pipe now i am considering that in this pipe you have static pressure ps entering you have a dynamic pressure half rho v square entering only these two i am considering only these two i am considering okay now this pressure and this pressure uh i will bring this pipe to ground why it is important to bring the pipe to the ground because this height is also giving you one type of energy so it is important to convert height also zero so that you should not have energy because of height in gravitational potential energy format because i have to convert all the energy only into pressure energy right okay so when when this energy this energy and all types of energy like i said for gate aerospace i have to apply filter so i am applying filter and i am keeping only these two pressures in my study and this height part also i am keeping because of that i had energy mgh so when i will bring the pipe down then h will become zero okay it means mgh converted into pressure again so finally at the dead end you will be having pressure p not if you are able to convert so this total pressure is nothing but conversion of all types of energy into pressure then this pressure you will say as stagnation pressure now i can ask you when you are talking about stagnation pressure that time fluid is moving or not no fluid is not moving why because all types of energy it means what even kinetic energy you have converted into 
प्रेशर इट मीन्स नो कैनेटिक एनर्जी इट मीन्स फ्लूज इन फ्लूड इज इन रेस्ट एंड यू ऑल्सो नो देर इज अ वर्ड इन इंग्लिश स्टेगनेंट स्टेगनेंट मीन्स स्टेशनरी सो स्टेगनेशन प्रेशर फ्लूड इज इन रेस्ट फ्लूड हैज नो हाइट फ्लूड हैज नो हाइट ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पार्ट सो नाउ क्वेश्चन इज वेन द फ्लो वेन द फ्लो इज गोइंग थ्रू द पाइप पाइप शुड नॉट हैव फ्रिक्शन ऑल्सो बिकॉज इफ पाइप विल बी हैविंग फ्रिक्शन देन सम एनर्जी विल लॉस्ट टू ओवरकम द फ्रिक्शन सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू लूज एनी एनर्जी आई वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट ऑल द एनर्जी इन टू प्रेशर सो अजम्पन कम्स इन टू पिक्चर वॉट अजम्पन फ्रिक्शन शुड नॉट बी देयर आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड बिकॉज इफ फ्रिक्शन विल बी देयर देन सम एनर्जी आई विल लूज टू ओवरकम द फ्रिक्शन इट मीन्स वॉट दैट एनर्जी आई कुड नॉट कन्वर्ट इन टू प्रेशर राइट I hope everyone is understanding. There is one chat. What is the chat? Siege velocity. Okay. Now next, see here. Suppose there is no friction, but there can be situation that heat is leaking out. There can be situation heat is leaking out. So heat is also form of energy. I don't want heat to leak out. It means this system should be iso. Related for heat, when system is isolated for heat, means heat transfer is denied. Then that we say as adiabatic, means no heat transfer is allowed. It means finally we are coming to a situation that this system what I am explaining, in which I am bringing the fluid to the rest, this system should not have friction, should not have heat transfer. So when there is no friction, then you will say it is reversible. when there is no heat transfer you will say it is adiabatic and combinedly you will say it is isentropic means what whatever entropy is here same entropy you have to achieve here entropy should be constant that's why isentropic is nothing but constant entropy okay so in upcoming lectures i will tell you because of friction entropy changes because of heat also entropy changes and how to calculate these things in upcoming lectures you will understand so i hope you understood that concept of stagnation pressure i am bringing the fluid to the rest because i have to make it stagnant right so when flow is there when something is running it may have friction with the wall so no friction heat may leak outside so overall you have to bring the friction to the rest isentropically then only the achieved pressure will be a correct stagnation pressure i hope you understood now how this pressure is different than total pressure let's understand total pressure is nothing but it is simply a english word total which is sum of different types of pressures okay so in aerospace department we consider total pressure and stagnation pressure is same right now i am changing the page so in this lecture we have understood all types of pressures and we have also understood one formula p stagnation i will give symbol as p not p is static i will give symbol as small p and p dynamic formula is half rho v square so just now we have understood that our p not is equal to p sometimes i write as p static plus p dynamic but sometimes i write p plus half rho v square so be comfortable okay so uh, in next class i will discuss about temperature and uh, again this kind of concept you have to improve now what is your job i hope you guys have done uh, uh, three questions of day 1 and three questions of day 2 if anyone is having doubt then you can ask uh, that in day 2 i mean uh, you understand what i am saying right i am trying to say that after every 40 minutes class gets over then you have 10 minutes of break then again you are joining so in this 10 minutes of break i am saying you to solve three questions and every day i am creating new pdf for three three questions so i hope you have solved three questions for day 1 also and today is day 2 so for day 2 also so tomorrow saturday sunday no class then we'll be having next class on monday okay so let's discuss your uh, questions of day 1 and day 2 uh, day 2 answers will be very easy to judge na day 2 answers that's why i did not give you answers of day 2 because it will be very very easy to judge okay i will uh, okay can can someone read uh, day one question uh, day two question 
वॉट वॉज योर क्वेश्चन वन एनी वन एनी वन कैन रीड प्रियांशु यू रीड यूनिवर्स इज नॉट पार्ट ऑफ सिस्टम बट अपोजिट इज करेक्ट सिस्टम इज पार्ट ऑफ यूनिवर्स सो थर्ड वन इज रॉन्ग रिमेनिंग वन टू थ्री इज करेक्ट ओके Yes, ask your doubt. Um, sir, I am not able to find the folder. Uh, the question you just uh, spoke. Mm-hmm. I am not able to find in the lab folder thing. Okay, okay. That is nothing. You have to go to uh, a drive. In drive, you have to go to study material. In study material, you have to go to a fluid and thermodynamics folder. In that, you have day one and day two uh, questions kept. Okay. but don't be confused with your dpp question daily practice problems of thermodynamics they are different don't be confused with assignments assignments are different and test series is different and this set every day for the 10 minutes gap i am creating they are different so right now i have discussed day 1 and day 2 so yes, sir by mistake can i solve that sir but uh, sir but actually there is only one folder showing in my google drive that is pre scores हाँ सो मे बी यू आर नॉट सींग दी गूगल ड्राइव सो प्रज्ञा योर केस इज डिफरेंट आई विल कॉल यू वाई इट इज नॉट शोइंग टू यू आई विल डिस्कस दिस विथ यू फॉर अदर केस फॉर अदर स्टूडेंट आई होप नाउ यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू गेट इट राइट एवरी वन इज एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू गेट इट ओके अदर देन प्रज्ञा हु एवर इज नॉट एबल टू एक्सेस ऑल द ड्राइव फोल्डर्स लेट मी नो I will again add your email into the drive. You will be able to access. Okay, fine. Okay then, uh, if you have any doubt regarding today's class or yesterday class, you can ask ask now, or uh, will stop the meeting now. Uh, sir, I uh, have to ask the second question again. Which of the following statements are correct about path function? Mm-hmm. So it is not the property of the system. Huh, is yes. it correct? Yes, because it is transient, right? it is transient so transient means transient. transient means it is not staying in the system transient means transient in uh, transient is a english word which okay, means okay, okay. something is traveling always traveling it is not staying in the system like i cannot ask you that how uh, how much joule of heat is in the system no this statement is wrong i cannot say that how much work done is is uh, is staying in the system okay it is wrong okay because it is like flow heat flows work flows they don't stay in the system right 
Okay. And uh, about the second one, it's cyclic integral may or may not be zero. Haan, cyclic integral may be zero, may not be zero. When I will be going this process can be like this also, right? A straight process you can have. And a process yeah. can be like this also. So we, when you will end process can be like this also. So uh, area below this is something. Area below this is something. But area below this is zero. So uh, that area, so you will come to know very soon, area under PV diagram gives you work, area under HS diagram gives you heat. Okay. So, yes, sir. so these situations are there. So, okay, good doubt. Uh, I will discuss these things when I will be teaching you uh, process and uh, these cyclic integrals and all reverse process will come on the way. So you will be having better explanation because it is just a second day. So I have not taught a lot of things. We are going slowly, slowly. So we'll understand. Anyone else? Any other doubt? No doubt? Okay, then. Um, okay, great. Then, uh, okay, fine then. Then we'll uh, stop the class tonight. Good night, all of you.